Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is the first time that you're seeing me. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel, so we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, please sit back and watch this video because today I offer you a tutorial. As the title of this video suggests, I'm offering you a tutorial for my backgammon beanie. And here it is, my backgammon beanie. It is a basic beginner's pattern. And I did a basic pattern because I wanted the colorway to do all of the talking. And it's beautiful. It's adequately named backgammon beanie because of the yarn that I used, which is Premier Puzzle in the colorway backgammon. This particular skein offers you 328 yards, 300 meters, 7 ounces at 200 grams. The recommended hook size is a 6 millimeter USJ. So, for this tutorial, I will be using this yarn, uh, Premier Puzzle Backgammon. You can use any 4 or 5 weight yarn you'd like. The pattern works regardless of the size of the yarn. So, as I mentioned, it's very simple. I wanted the pattern of the yarn to do the talking, not the pattern of the stitches. So I will walk you through the whole process from beginning to end, more specifically for my beginner crocheters. If I'm going too fast, hit the gear button, slow me down. If I'm going fine, but you just need to pause, pause me as many times as you'd like. This tutorial was made for you guys because many of you guys have reached out to me and asked me for this tutorial. So if you ask, I'm going to answer. So this is part one of a two-part series. Part one is going to be the beanie. Part two is going to be my scarf. So uh, without further ado, we're going to jump right into this tutorial for the backgammon beanie. Okay, friends. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use my six millimeter prim hook, otherwise known as US letter J. Okay. Okay. And so let's get started. So what we want to do is create a slip knot on our hook like that. However you get here is fine, just as long as the end result is this. And from here, what we want to do is chain four. Okay. And from here, what we want to do is insert the head of our hook into the first chain, just like that. Grab our yarn and pull through and pinch down here, pull the hook through the loop there, pull on your working yarn and your hook, just like that, and a circle will form. So from here, what we wanna do is chain one, and then we wanna go back into that circle with 12 double crochets. One, two, so go ahead and do 12 double crochets and I will meet you at the end of round one. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round one. 12 stitches or 12 double crochets all the way around. And now what we wanna do is insert the head of our hook into the first double crochet, grab your yarn and slip through to close the round and chain one, okay? Now from here, what we need to do is insert two double crochets in the stitch we just came out of, which is right here. So we wanna go ahead and insert a double crochet, and then go back in and insert another double crochet in that very stitch. And so the repeat of this round is, we wanna insert two double crochets into every stitch all the way around the circle here. So let's go into the next stitch here. Just make sure you grab both sides of that. double crochet and double crochet. Go into the next stitch and let's do two double crochets. And it should look like this. So go on ahead and go all the way around and I will meet you when we get here, okay? Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round two. You should have 24 double crochets for the round. And to close off round two, what we need to do is insert the tip of our hook into the very first double crochet of the round. Grab our yarn and pull through, slip through to close it off there. 
and then chain one, okay? So to start round three, what we need to do is go back into the stitch we just came out of, which is right here. And what we wanna do is put one double crochet in that stitch, just like that. Okay, and then from here, what we need to do is go into the next stitch with a double crochet and then go back into that stitch for another double crochet. So the next stitch gets two. So we did one double crochet here and this one gets two double crochets. The next one just gets one double crochet and the next one gets two double crochets. And that's the stitch repetition for this round. It's gonna be one, two, one, two all the way around for a total of 36 stitches for the round, okay? So continue on with that pattern and I shall see you at the end of round three for 36 stitches. Okay friends, so here I am at the end of round three for a total of 36 stitches. What we need to do is insert the head of our hook into the first double crochet of the round, grab our yarn, pull through to close, and then chain one. Okay, so for round four, we need 48 stitches. So to achieve that, what we need to do is go back into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet, just like that. And then we're gonna insert a double crochet in the next stitch, just like that. And then the next double crochet, or the next stitch gets two double crochets. So that's the repeat of the pattern. One, one, two. One, one, two. So let's insert one double crochet in the next one, and then one in the next one, and then two in the next one. So again, for round four, we need one, one, two. One, one, two all the way around and I shall see you when we get to the end of round four for a total of 48 stitches. And two, okay. Okay friends, so here I am at the end of round four, 48 stitches and you should have ended on a stitch that required two double crochets in that last stitch. So to close off round four, what we need to do is insert the head of our hook into the very first double crochet of the round, grab our yarn, pull through, and slip to close, chain one to close round four. So that was 48 stitches. So let me just take a quick measurement here. Okay, not quite. Okay, the number we're looking for is anywhere between six and seven inches. So we're just over five inches, so we need to do another round. So what we need to do is to achieve 60 stitches, that's the next round for round five, 60 stitches. What we need to do is go back into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet. And we're gonna insert one double crochet in the next three stitches. So we have one, two, three, and then two, just like this. So let's just backtrack here. We have one double crochet to start the row, or the round, sorry. And then, actually, let me just redo that. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round four, where you should have 48 double crochets for the round. You should have ended on a stitch that required you to insert two double crochets in that last stitch there. So to close off round four, what we need to do is insert the head of our hook into the first double crochet of the round. Grab your yarn and pull through, and pull through to close, just like that. 
chain one to move up to round five. So round five is going to require 60 stitches. And to achieve that, what we need to do is we need to do three standalone double crochets. And then in the next stitch after the three, we want to do two double crochets. So let's start here, going back into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet. Just like that. And then in the next stitch, double crochet. That's two so far. And in the next stitch, a double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we need to do two double crochets. Just like that. And we're going to repeat that. So double crochet. And then another double crochet in the next one. And then a double crochet in the next one. And then two double crochets. So just to recap, we're going to do double crochet, and then a double crochet, double crochet, and then chain two. I mean, two double crochets, sorry. Okay, so that's what we're looking like so far. So let's recap one more time, just in case. So double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, and then two double crochets. So one, 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 two. One, 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 two. Okay. So let's do one more set of the repeat. So we're going to do one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochets. So go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end of the round, right there. Okay friends, so here we are at the end of round five where we have 60 double crochets. And let me take a quick measurement. What we need is seven inches. Let's just do that quick measurement there. And so, we have seven inches. Perfect. Okay. So to close off round five, what we need to do is insert the head of our hook into the very first double crochet of the round, grab our yarn, pull through and slip. Okay. So we are officially done increases. So this is it for increases. So now what we need to do is we are going to do a round of double crochets for row around six. So chain one, and then we're going to go back into the stitch we just came out of and do a double crochet. And we're going to do double crochets into every stitch of the round for a total of 60 double crochets, just like this. Very easy, very simple. Double crochets all the way around. 60 stitches for round six. I will see you at the end of round six on this side right here where my thumb is. Okay. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round six. 60 stitches, no increases. It was one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Okay. So to close off round six, what we need to do is the same thing we've done in all the other rows. Insert the head of our hook into the very first stitch, the first double crochet of the round. Grab your yarn and slip through to close it off. Chain one. So for rounds seven and eight, they're exactly the same thing that you just did. So you go back into the stitch you came from, double crochet, and you're gonna put a double crochet in every stitch all the way around. So right now we're in round seven. You're gonna go around, do round seven, and then go up and do round eight. And I will meet you at the end of round eight. So two more layers, this one here, which is round seven, and then one more after this, okay? So again, I will see you at the end of round eight. Okay, friends, so here we are. Um, I'm just finishing round eight. All double crochets with no increases. So to close off round eight, what we need to do is insert the head of our hook 
into the very first double crochet of the round. Grab our yarn and slip through, chain one. And so for round nine, what we're going to do are half double crochets. So this is going to be the repeat for the next five rows. So um, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13, all half double crochets. I'm gonna pit stop uh, at the beginning and end of each round. So this is round nine, half double crochet in every stitch all the way down and around the round, like so, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna pause you till the end of round nine, all half double crochets. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round nine. Insert the tip of your hook into the first half double crochet, grab your yarn, slip through, chain one, and here we are at round 10. So round 10 is another round of half double crochets. You're gonna go back into the stitch you just came out of with a half double crochet, and you're gonna insert half double crochets in every stitch all the way around. So this is round 10, 60 half double crochets, and I shall see you at the end of round 10. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 10. So to close off the round, what we need to do is insert the tip of our hook into the first half double crochet of the round, grab our yarn, slip through to close, and chain one, and now we're at round 11. Round 11 is also another round of half double crochets. So we're gonna go back into the stitch we just came out of, half double crochet, into every stitch all the way around, 60 stitches of half double crochets, for round 11, and I shall see you at the end of round 11. Okay, friends, so I just finished round 11. So to close it off, we insert the tip of our hook into the first half double crochet, grab the yarn, slip through, and chain one. Okay, so this is now beginning round 12. Again, half double crochets, Going into the stitch you just came out of, which is right here, half double crochet in that stitch and in every stitch of the round for 60 stitches for round 12. Continue doing half double crochets all the way around and I will see you at the end of round 12. Okay, friends, so I am at the end of round 12. So to close it off, we're gonna insert the tip of our hook into the very first half double crochet. We're gonna grab the yarn, and slip through to close, chain one, and for round 13, same as the rest, half double crochet in the stitch we just came out of, and half double crochet in all of the stitches in the round for 60 stitches, 60 half double crochets for this particular round, and I will see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 13. To close off, insert the head of your crochet hook in the first uh, half double crochet, grab your yarn, and slip through to close, chain one. So I had everybody stop at round 13 because this is the point in the beanie where I would do my bunny ear and I would take it and I would try it on. So if by now, after you try it on, it, by now it should be touching the tops of your ears. Um, this part here should be rubbing against the top. If not, just, you know, your ears should just start covering it like right about here. So... If that's the case, you only have one more round of half doubles to go. If at this point your ear is halfway covered by about that much, then you are done with half double crochets and you are going to skip to the single crochet portion of this video, which, which is going to come right after this row here. So for me, I need to do the one extra row. 
So for round 14, it's going to be another round of half double crochets. For those of you that have to go straight to the single crochets, just wait it out for another, I don't know, 20 seconds and we'll be on row 15. But for now, row 14 is half double crochets going into the stitch we just came out of and then one half double crochet in every stitch and I shall see you at the end of the round. Okay friends, so here we are at the end of round 14. Um, to close off round 14, we're going to insert the head of our hook into the first half double crochet. We're gonna grab the yarn, pull through and slip to close just like that. And then we're gonna chain one. So for round 15, we're going to insert one single crochet in every stitch all the way around the round. So going back into the stitch we just came out of, single crochet, and continue doing single crochets all the way around just like this. So for round 15, single crochets, 60 stitches. I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 15. Uh, all single crochets. So to close it off, we need to insert the tip of our hook into the first single crochet. We're going to grab our yarn and slip through, just like that. We're going to chain one. So now rows 16, 17, 18, and 19. So we have four more rows of the single crochets for a total of five rows of single crochets. We just did the first one. So four more rows um, of single crochets. Um, so I will see you guys at the end of round 19, but I'm just gonna get started here for round 16. We're gonna go back into the stitch we just came out of perform a single crochet and do a single crochet in every stitch of the round just like that and you're going to continue on for the next four rounds so you're going to look here I'm going to go back to this one so you can clearly tell where your single crochets are one two three four and five we're almost done guys so the, you want a total of five rows of single crochets we have one done we're on number two, so five rows, and I'll see you at the end, okay? Okay, friends, I just finished round 19. So the last portion of our hat here is five rows of single crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that's what this is looking like. Okay, and so I would just, you know, check it, you know, put it on your head, make sure it looks and feels comfortable. If you need to do another row, go for it. Um, the overall aesthetic of it is you start with your bigger stitches and then it fades into smaller stitches and it gives this like gradient effect with the stitch definition. You can see it in this one as well where you have the bigger stitches and then it fades into like the smaller stitches. Okay. So here we are with this one here. Okay, so to close it off, this is how I close it off, guys. So um, what I do is, I let me just fix my hook here. Okay, so I chain two, just like that, and then I grab my trusty scissors, and then I cut a tail like that, and then I just pull my hook out, and then I take my thumb and my index finger and I squeeze right above, and then I slide down, just like that, and it creates like this double knot. And then I take my end and I sew it in. Let me just pause you so I can find my darning needle okay so here we are what I do is I take my yarn and I wrap it over the eye of the needle like that like that and then 
Just feed it through and pull, just like that. Okay, and then I go on the inside of my piece and then I insert the needle in between the fibers to kind of like hold it in place. It's the best way to do it, guys. So then just pull your yarn through and I do a, a zigzag method. So I go one time this way, one time this way, and then one time, one final time back. So each time I try to grab some fibers just so that it stays in place. And one final time this way. Okay. And then I take my trusty scissors, do a snip, and voila, all gone. Okay, friends, so that wraps this up. I now have two backgammon beanies. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit the like button. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And then, of course, hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. It's been a pleasure showing you this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for future tutorials and or go back and see some of the tutorials that I have already completed for you guys. They're all free and they are there for your enjoyment. So until the next one, guys, take care. Bye bye.